so in the previous videos we talked about the continuous integration which gives you the immediate feedback now the other part of the feedback is also the monitoring so you and and the customer side so you also get one of the things which sets devops apart from let's say rest of the methodologies you also incorporate not only the feedback from your let's say continuous integration uh, uh, you know uh, system but also the feedback from your monitoring systems as well as the customer feedback so all of this feedback is important and based on that you decide what goes next in the next feature and how do you fix things and you know how do you improve your own uh, product and the quality and the reliability of that one now talking about monitoring um, I generally recommend three different types or I would generally categorize this as three different types of monitoring one is the health monitoring and the uh, system uptime and the network monitoring uh, that's your traditional monitoring second is monitoring the logs third is application performance monitoring or what we generally call as APM and the visualization now talking about health monitoring we'll just describe the tools which are useful for those like traditionally we've been using tools such as Nagios these are the open source tools that I'm talking about now apart from that uh, now in general when I talk about tools these are some of the tools or subset of tools that I generally uh, would take and most of these are open source based tools having said that there are many other enterprise tools that you might be using in your organization so when you say I want to start using DevOps does not mean that you have to use tools such as Nagios or Sensu or just these tools it can be anything which helps you monitor the status system status and the uptime it could be some enterprise product it could be an op open source product it doesn't matter which tool you use it is important to have that monitoring setup or it's important the purpose is important more than the uh, the actual tool that we actually use right so and since devops is a context based approach you might have your own set of tools uh, and uh, you could continue to use that and you're still doing the devops even in that case right now talking about logs logs are also very important aspect that gives you a lot of tons of data about your systems about the behavior of your systems and when things go wrong the very first thing that you generally do is check the logs now when you are managing things at scale it's not always possible to go and check the every single log file on every single host you may want to get a consolidated view of that and even better would be if you can get some graphical visualizations around that which tells you about the kind of errors the instance of the errors and you can drill down on those kind of errors and based on the timeline maybe and that's what some of these tools offer you including the most popular open source stack that is elk stack that is elastic search logstash kibana actually that logstash can be replaced with other tools such as fluentd so elastic search is one of the core component of that uh, tool chain kibana is the visualizer splunk is another popular enterprise log management software there are also hosted log management services such as datadog and graylog which are also very very useful so one of the important practices that you follow is have a centralized log management system and then you can set up your filters visualizations and uh, that will give you a lot of insights into your issues when when they appear and you can drill down and understand how this behave behaves right the other aspect of that is application performance monitoring where you define some you know uh, timers in your code and then you visualize the time taken by a particular call in maybe a database or a web server or in that's how you you know understand and debug the performance issues now performance management is one of the challenging factors of devops and you have tools which are very popular such as new relic which allow you to do that or you can incorporate your own tool including graphite and uh, use it with kibana or use you know uh, or new tools such as Prometheus with Grafana and plot the performance of your application so monitoring health and uptime monitoring logs and monitoring performance is extremely important and that's part of again your amp feedback loop as well as improving um, or in understanding the issues and um, you know getting the feedback and fixing those issues as fast as can as you can right so that's about the you know the devops in general the story of devops we started with and then we talked about the principal practices and some of the key automation tools related to devops in this series of videos